guys welcome back to my channel so if you followed along with my last um video the craft of me doing the flights of fancy kit uh we kind of completed we didn't complete this page because we haven't actually glued things down but we completed um this bit and i was hoping to have this obviously here in the center of the signature so on the last video i did say oh i probably wouldn't have the same thing facing it but since then strangely enough I thought actually it might look quite nice with the same thing on the face inside so I don't think I've ever really done that before if I'm truthful but for some reason it was just um, calling to me to do that so I'm just going to trim this down slightly and then so this is some of the sheet music that's included in the physical kit so, I mean, again, obviously, this video is not just for people who've purchased the physical kit. You know, you can use these techniques and these methods and these, um, I don't know, formats um, for the pages using any materials. You don't have to be following along using the Flights of Fancy kit. This is just a fun thing to do that if you've bought the kit, you can potentially make your own journal the same um you know ideal for sort of if you're starting out with your journal making or something like that it's just to kind of um give you a bit of a uh, what's the word i suppose just a bit of confidence really in making your journals because obviously it's nice to be able to follow along using the same materials but of course if you haven't got that kit and I mean I did say the flights of fancy the five background pages and these die cut pieces they are available as a little mini kit on my Etsy shop these are not die cuts they are they are in the physical kit but in the digital kit they're just fussy cuts for you to obviously cut these out yourself um, but that kit, if you fancied that, is actually available in my Etsy store. Um, but of course, if you didn't want to use any of those things, you could just make your own journal with your own pieces. It doesn't have to be these pieces at all. Um, this is simply to give ideas for for people starting out really <coughs> excuse me right now I wanted to have this lady here last time if you know if you watched before and I couldn't somehow get her to work so hopefully we might manage to get her to work on this this page now instead so just wondering about having it something like that do you think and then I've got obviously all those ruffles that I made so we could just then finish that off with a, a ruffle down there I think so that looks nice doesn't it okay let's commit to this so again I'm just going to pop this lady down and just in case as well if you didn't see the previous episode and you've just wondered what I did with that sheet music piece all I did was took this strip of sheet music and glued it down onto some book page just to give it a little bit more thickness a bit more stability so it's a bit more of a robust piece to have as a little pocket so that's all it was nothing very exciting or anything um, but just in case you hadn't seen the previous video and you wondered what that was about that was that was all that was going on there so I'm just going to ink around that a little bit more like that okay right so and again I'm probably not going to actually glue these pieces in just yet because just in case I want to change my mind I've just then got a bit of um, like wiggle room, you know, for if I decide on something different. Uh, I have again got those words. Let me just lean down and get something else. 
So let's just take this one. So this word is thoughtful. I'm not doing anything interesting here. I'm just cutting this over my bin. My bin, which is the carrier bag hung at the side of me. Just going to rough that up a little bit because hopefully this is going to be a really nice grungy kind of journal. And we could pop that just on a tiny bit of lace or something for the um, continuity of the lace from the facing page, I think. So I'm just going to trim that down like that. Okay, just glue that on. So I hope everyone's having a good, mm, good day. I hope the sun's shining wherever you are. And hey, if it's not, then I hope that you're just indoors getting cosy and crafting. I think I've said this before, but I mean, sometimes I just, I love it when at the weekend <laughs> It's raining and really horrible and we can't go anywhere. I think, oh yes, I'm gonna have a guilt-free crafting day. Because I mean, if the weather's okay, I just feel, um, you know, obliged to go out and get some fresh air, take the children out, you know. And um, yeah, it's really naughty, isn't it? But sometimes when it's kind of raining and things, I think, oh, fantastic. I've got no choice but to stay in. Right, so I quite like how that looks. Hopefully I will remember when it comes to actually gluing things into the journal. Um, oh, I'm just going to glue these things in, I think. I'm um, going to do this journal, I think, in a bit of a sort of um, bespoke, <laughs> bespoke way. In that, you know, I might do some gluing in and then some not. So... I'm just committing to this because I really like how this looks. I'm really happy with this as a centre for my um, signature. I don't think I'm likely to change my mind, but I could easily forget how I've laid it out. And once I've closed the book and everything's dropped down, I won't then quite remember how I wanted it. So, right, I'm just going to glue that um, string on the back. Actually, I might use that fabric tack course that might be even better to use in there. Okay, press that down. There we go. Just leave that to dry for a moment before I glue that down. So on this page I'm just taking one of these little die cut pieces. I'm going to glue that down. I mean, of course, you don't have to put anything down there. You could leave that plain. I just really like having lots of bits, you know, lots of interest on the page. So that's why I'm popping that down there. You know, for me, I just think I love a page with lots going on. But I realise, of course, that's not for everybody. And, um, you know, I mean, some people may just kind of think, Oh gosh, she's got so much going on on that page. It just looks cluttered and hideous, you know. Um, but that's that's how I quite like them to look. So again, each to their own. And um, obviously they're your journal. You know, it's your journal if you're making one. So you pop things on as you, as you see, you know, them in your mind. So... Okay, so that's stuck there. And then obviously I've got that ruffle, which we could have there. Or maybe we could have it at the 
top actually that's quite nice so I might just I'm not going to use that piece I've got some other ones that are perhaps a bit more tatty so I'm just going to go through them maybe not oh maybe I will just use that piece to be honest I thought I had some pieces that were really, um, you know, ropey. <laughs> I thought oh, they might be better, but actually this is this is fine. So I'm just going to trim that off there. And I will just apply the glue to the back. Like that. Take that. Ooh. Okay, so just press that down. And I mean, it's up to you again, you know, if you're using ruffles and things, if you want to leave the threads hanging. I mean, I've only cut that off because it was on this side of the page. Had it been on this side, I probably would have left it hanging. But I thought perhaps that was a bit peculiar, you know, hanging down there in the centre of the page. So that's why I trimmed that off. So I might pop this flower here, just because again, that just looks really nice then, doesn't it? Okay, hope I'm in frame, oh, just, oh it's always so tricky because, um, I think I said this before, I watched the, you know, a couple of videos back when I was obviously editing them. And I thought, oh, you can't really see what I'm doing because I'm quite um, high up. You know, the, the film was quite high up. So in my next couple, I'm just trimming this down slightly only because this has got a little gap here. So I just prefer that this also had a little gap. So it was a little bit more matching. Um, oh, what was I saying? Yeah, I thought, oh, I'm a little bit high up. So... The next couple of videos that I did, I thought I'm going to zoom in slightly more so hopefully people can see what I'm doing a bit better. But actually all that then happened, I seemed to be out of frame for most of the <laughs> most of the video. So it's quite um, tricky getting the right place. And I've said this before, but you know, you get it in the right place one time. And then the next time you come to do a video, obviously you're working with different pieces, they're different sizes you've put the iPad, you know, you've removed the iPad obviously to upload the video and obviously be using it. So that's all moved. And so just because it was in the perfect position one time doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be in the perfect position the next time. So it's uh, pretty irritating to be honest. Right. I mean, I love how that looks. To me, that just looks really, really, really nice just as it is. Um, so I'm just going to reach down again to the side, so sorry about this. Right, they've got all these little vellum pieces, or they're not actually vellum, they're, they're tracing paper, but I'm just going to cut one out. Now for some reason, my copy, they look quite black, these frames. I don't think they looked as black on the, on everyone else's kits, I think they came out blue. I don't know why mine came out black, but I don't know. Sometimes the um, printing just, you know, does something different, doesn't it? Right, let me trim that down a little bit further. Now, I'm just wondering what I could do here. I mean, that just looks pretty on its own, I think. Excuse me, I'm just um, moving around on my chair. Right, so have a look and see what we've got. Okay. That's quite nice, isn't it? Yeah, I quite like that, just, just like that. So, I might just pop that there. down and then let's have another look. I 
that really needs any lace to be honest. So I might just glue that down. Now I don't know what this is going to be like with the vellum. Obviously being new to this glue, I don't really know. But it's probably probably my best bet. So just glue like that. I'm just going to pop a little couple of blobs on those bits where it's black. So again, just pop that down on there. And again, I'll just press that down with the with the wipe. So hopefully that glue will dry and be a bit more invisible than that. And again, I mean, what would look really nice is probably to stitch around there. Would just finish that off perfectly. Again, my sewing machine's not here, so I'm not going to kind of do that. But that's a little journaling card in that side. And then on this side, we could just make um, something like a little booklet or something like that. So again, this is going to be using pieces of your own paper. So, you know, not included in the kit, um, but using some paper of your own. I'm just having a look in my little stash on my desk to see if I've got any coffee yard paper. Well, I've got this. This is um, this is card, which actually is a bit thick. So hold on, bear with me. Oh come on, I must have some just thinnish paper. Mm. Okay, that's card as well. Well, let's just go for the card because um, I don't want to be here all day. Right, so I'm just going to fold that over. Cut that down so it's even. So this is just a scrap, literally, literally a scrap that was laying around on my desk. Cut it down here. Going to round the corners so it looks less like a scrap. Looks a bit more, you know, purposeful or a bit more like it was made to be something rather than just picked up from the desk. And then, sorry, reaching down again. Um, let's see. So I might take these flowers here. Just cut those down. You know, again, really not taking too much notice about how they're cut out. So like that Oops. oh and um, people often mention about the fussy cutting I mean definitely for me I find the big scissors really 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 helpful I mean I know I've said this loads of times before but I don't honestly know how people cut with those tiny scissors um, you know for me I no way no way could I get on with those so yeah, for me, definitely the um, big scissors, very, very, very helpful. And especially, obviously, when you're cutting straight lines or anything, even more so, um, because obviously it's when you're joining the cuts, you know, like that, that it's likely to go wonky. All the time you're just cutting like that, it's going to be straight. So um, yeah, a little, you know, tip there, I suppose. I definitely find the um, the big scissors very, very, very helpful. Right. Do we want it like that? And that would then just tuck in there. Not sure about those flowers. I mean, I put those flowers on because we popped one of those on under there, but I might prefer it just, just on there like that. So let's just pop that on. And actually, sorry, I know that I'm obviously probably my volume probably goes up and down as I lean down, but because obviously 
I've had to just chuck the stuff all on the floor. So the stuff's all, you know, beside me on the floor. So um, every time I reach down, I probably go out of then volume a little bit. Just wondering whether we could have that folded over like a little header on there. Is that a bit peculiar? Maybe. Maybe that is a bit peculiar. If we tear that down, just try tearing along the bottom. So it's a bit less uniform. Ah, that's better, isn't it? Right, so, yeah, I'll just cut that here. So this is my handmade washi tape and I've included it um, as, as it was. Now, when I did my little tutorial on making the washi, I did paint some Mod Podge over some of it. So I might just do that here because I quite liked that effect. I haven't done that with everybody's. Um, that I've included in the physical kit, but it's something then that you could do if you wanted. So I'm just going to paint some Mod Podge over that. Oops. Like that. Okay, so I'll just leave that to dry for a couple of minutes. Right, best put this paintbrush down beside me ready to to take downstairs and wash because otherwise that won't get washed so I'm just going to pop that over there when that's finished and that looks really nice doesn't it and I don't think I need to have those flowers anywhere no nope, I'm not going to right so I'm going to leave that quickly to one side to dry for a moment Let's hope I don't forget where I was actually meaning that to go because that is quite a likely possi possibility. So now let's move the journal out of the way and just make some bits and pieces um, just randomly that will then go in some of the pages. So again, excuse me while I'm just leaning down. I mean, I love this blue. Absolutely love it. So, um, yeah wondering what to make with this so as we can keep a lot of the blue visible so i think what i'll do is make one of the kind of fold out flip type pieces so actually i'm just wondering before i do that all oh, decisions decisions mm. right let's just do that because otherwise i'm just going to be here all day dithering around wondering what to do so and then I'm just going to fold that like that so I mean that to me is just gorgeous just how it is it needs nothing nothing really more doing to it but of course I will do more to it because what's the fun in not even though I think it looks lovely <laughs> you know it's not very fun is it to do nothing more so I'm going to start by round, rounding the corners, Oops. like that, like that, and then let's have a look through our little bits and bobs that we've got here to the side. No, 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 no. Right. Now these are not all of the um, die cut pieces. These were just a bunch that I've grabbed. So let me pull, pull them in. Oops. I've got more on the floor beside me, but I just thought let's um, just have a look at these first. Oh, that's quite nice, isn't it? As the as the closure, I think. Yeah, I might have to just do that. So I'm going to take that up there like that because that just shows me roughly. where I want to glue to 
So that's that. Pop that down. Hope I've got that straight. Okay, get my wipe. It's now stuck on everything. Okay, and then and that flower's possibly a little bit ginormous on there. And that hot air balloon, which is really cute, isn't it? <coughs> Excuse me, just clear my throat a bit. That's quite nice. No, I'm not going to do that. Right, let's pull in a couple of other things. Oh gosh, hold on. Leaning down constantly. So I've got some washi there and I've got the lace. Oh, the lace is pretty, isn't it? I mean, of course the lace was going to be my favorite because um, why wouldn't it be? So, should we have the lace? Now, I'm a bit torn because I quite like it everywhere. Probably towards the bottom, what do you think? Actually, I don't know whether I do like the lace because that made it look a bit like a T, like the letter T. So. Maybe I won't. Right, let's put that to one side because we can obviously always decorate this further once we've decided on which page it's going in. So I'm going to put the bits that we make to the side of me, to the left, um, uh, to the right, sorry, so that I keep them separate. So I've got this other piece of blue, which I mean, I just absolutely love. So again, I'm trying to think how to really kind of show it off to its best. So, you know, leaving it with a lot of it showing. Um, let's have a look. So, pull in some of these little bits and pieces again. So, I've got another one of those, which is really nice. Um, well, we could. I'm just kind of thinking if I did. Um, where's my scissors? I did this we can actually make it a little fold out booklet where then I've got that piece of paper in three so I can use it again um, you know which is quite nice because obviously I really do love that blue so I'm able to use it on yet another page doing it this way so let's just See what we want to pop on the front. Oh, you see, I love that, but then that is covering up the blue. So, do we want to do that? I don't think we do, do we? Because that's doing exactly what I said. Let's, you know, let's not do by covering it all up. What about? Oh, that's quite nice, isn't it? So, let me pull in the lace. Did I put the lace? Oh, it's over there. Great. Mm, that's quite nice. Oh, that is really nice, in fact. So, right, let's just get a piece of the lace here. Okay. I'm just thinking we could pop that on there do you know what I don't know whether that actually needs that <coughs> excuse me um, so what I might do instead is pull in you've got this scripty type paper that was obviously a letter So maybe we should back it onto there or on the book page. Let's just have a look. Oh, 
or maybe we'll just go for the big page. So, right, let's operate that out. Okay, let's just glue that onto there. Nearly moved that then out of the way, <laughs> you know, rather than, oh my gosh, now I've turned it upside down. What is going on with me? Uh, <laughs> at least I did spot it before it stuck down onto there, so, right, so let's just cut that out, put that back down on the pile. Okay, and then I'm just going to rough up the edges a bit, just so it's, um, you know, a bit more rustic-y, because otherwise it's a little bit neat for my liking. Okay, Woo, come on. Right, so I'm just going to ink this up now with my vintage photo. I don't know whether I talked about this before, but I had um, walnut stain a long time ago. This was several years ago, and I'm trying to think really, you know, what's the difference between the walnut stain and the vintage photo? Um, I mean, obviously there is a difference, but what I'm saying is, the vintage photo is really, really popular, isn't it? And in my mind, I just wonder whether the walnut stain is really, you know, pretty close, um, pretty similar. Right, I like that. So I'm going to glue that down like that. Okay. Put that down there. I mean, that to me just looks absolutely gorgeous, just how that is. Don't know about you guys, but, you know, I just love that how that is. But I'm going to, I think, pop that on as well just because it then looks a little bit more interesting. I'm going to try and just do it here on the ends to leave it as a sort of semi belly band. So I'll pop that on there like that. Oh, come on. Okay. Like that, and then Obviously, if I just bring in the, the journaling cards. So, and again, I have obviously gave myself any that didn't print out quite correctly. So, here on this one, can you see it's got a smudgy bottom to that? I again. Actually, I was going to say I don't know why that happened, but actually I do know why that happened. I was pulling <laughs> pulling it out of the printer because I thought it had finished and um, was trying to then get to it to change the paper type. And obviously it hadn't finished, so that's exactly why that smudged, because I was pulling it, so it was technically going too fast for the, the printing. The piece of paper was feeding through too fast compared to the printing so yeah that was completely my fault I can't claim to um, be baffled as to why that happened right so we've got that piece there isn't that gorgeous so again I'm going to put that to the side just to hang on to now my Mod Podge now has dried so I'm just going to peel off the double-sided tape back like that and just pop that on there like that and then go over there like that okay and then obviously I'll just take my corner rounder again because I had rounded the corners so we'll just re-round them and then I'm just going to ink that up so it's 
matching box there in the first place. Okay, so that's our little flippy up um, pad thing. So I'll just put that to the side for the moment. I will obviously then forget where that was meant to go, but never mind. Right, so that's those pieces. Let's now have another look. Let me just check I'm in frame. And still filming, obviously, because again, I mean, that's another thing that does happen, you know, as we know from time to time, where it suddenly flicks off and before you know it, you're not filming. So um, just nice to check that we were. So for this piece here, I think, again, it's quite nice keeping the blue, you know, intact as much as we can. So I might just do this as, um, as a long piece and just pop something on here. Hold on, again. Ugh. Mm, that's quite nice. Let's just cut this piece out. nice on there isn't it it's got something really rich and lovely about that yeah I really like how that looks so might have that on there now again do we want that layered up on some sort of book page or anything or do we think that's quite nice how it is hold on let's just have a look I mean obviously it's brightened up considerably from having it on the book page so to me that looks nice and dark and mysterious and obviously putting it on here it doesn't I'm not saying that <laughs> that's not fine but I'm not too sure if I'm truthful whether I prefer it dark and mysterious or whether I like it brighter let me have a look down through the camera in case I get a kind of better feel for it like that so that's it on the light and that's it on the dark. Now on the dark, it doesn't really show up particularly well on the on the film, but it does in real life. But it does have a dark impression because obviously the sky is just on the background there. So let's pull it up a bit more so as you can see that. So that's it on the light. And that's it on the dark. I do love it on the dark, but actually... In hindsight, I think maybe that's a, maybe that's a step too far and possibly going a bit too dark. So, I'm just going to ink this up slightly, so it's not quite so bright. Okay, and then just going to glue that down. Like that. Actually, I'm just going to. Just dab a little bit of glue in the middle. Oh no! <laughs> right. Okay. So glue that down nicely. I've used the other glue, didn't I? And that other piece, I used that Fabri-Tac. I mean, not that I'm suddenly a convert now and just hate all other glue, but I just totally forgot. And um, now I kind of think, oh, why didn't I use that? So I'll just go to the edges with the Fabri-Tac because obviously, you know, it's not that close to the edges anyway. So just could have done with a bit more glue anyway, so we'll just do that. Okay. Right. <laughs> and we'll just cut this down. Now that's only a teeny bit of book page now left, but I will still keep that just in case we want to use that for anything else. So and again, I'm just going to cut this down here and there. 
pattern there. Again, I just rough that up a little bit. Okay, like that. So that looks quite nice now. And then I'm just going to ink around the edges a bit. Otherwise, it's quite bright book page. So my tummy's now rumbling with hunger because I stopped the video for breakfast. Then obviously got waylaid doing other things. I had to upload the video from earlier so I had space to do this video and then I was doing some printing. Then I was working on something else that I'm doing for, you know, a project for something else. Um, so now it's nearly lunchtime. So I'm now kind of hungry again, which the irony you know I stopped it in the first place because my tummy was making so much noise and now here I am lo and behold still making so much noise which just how ironic right so might pop a bit of doily on here I mean this doily has been coffee dyed but it's not particularly dark um, and obviously again if you've bought the physical kit the coffee dyeing you know is random so some pieces are going to be darker than others um, you know they're not going to all be the same so probably just something to be a little bit aware of right let me just see whether we want to have any of these flowers here So I'm just going to cut these down. So I don't know whether any of these would look good or not, but I just thought we'd cut them down and have a have a look. And that's quite pretty isn't it let's just fussy tear around these just think these ones would be a bit too fiddly to um, fussy cut sort of precisely around them because obviously they've got these skinny stems and things like that so I think these are rather nice just torn close-ish to the image but leaving quite a bit of the coffee dyed paper around there you know that looks really nice I think that looks really nice on there actually perhaps I'll have to keep that for on this newsprint um, sheet because that actually looks really nice so perhaps I'll go for these flowers instead here Oh, why is it so difficult sometimes to make a decision? Right, I'm just going to ink up this doily piece because, um, as I say, this one didn't obviously coffee dye quite so dark. So I'm just going to ink that up. And I mean, quite often I leave the doily pieces um, bright white. It just depends, you know, sometimes I fancy it bright white, sometimes fancy it darker. No rules whatsoever, just whatever whatever takes your fancy at the time. So I'm going to put that like that and I'm going to trim down this edge slightly. So, because at the moment it's quite a wide piece. Okay. So I'm just going to pop that there. Pop that there. So again, I'm just going to glue them down because then we're, you know, we're committed and um, that's always good because there's no change in our minds and dilly-dallying around. It's all just, all just ready to go. So there we go. Oops. Like that. I'm going 
going to pop that, I think, up higher. I obviously glued that doily down a bit high in comparison to where I had it originally, but that's fine. Okay. Oops. Okay. And obviously I'm going to have that sort of more over to the side so as we've got a bit more doily coming out of there. So let me just make sure that's straight-ish. Oops, hold on. There we go. Right. So we've got that. Oh gosh. My tummy's just really rumbling now. Okay. Maybe something like that is quite nice. Oh, that looks lovely, doesn't it? So, yeah. Let's just go for that. Stick that down. Okay. And then we're just going to have that flower. Now, how did I have that flower placed? Did I have it like that? I had it like that. I mean, not that it really matters, but you know, sometimes you put something there and then you take it away to apply the glue. And when you put it back, you can't remember quite, um, you know, the direction that you actually had it in. And then it doesn't look as good. So, yeah, <laughs> I had a bit of that going on for a minute. So that's that piece. Now, what I might do, because I would just have this on on a page like it is, but I'm just wondering whether I want to make a little flippy piece out of this as well. Um, yeah, like a little fold out piece coming off of this as well. So I'm going to put some lace at the top. Now is that not very straight? Hmm. I don't think that is very straight, is it? So let me just, maybe it's the bottom. No, maybe it's the top. Is that better? Mm, no. Right, let me just come in here. Okay, so I'm going to just scrappily go around the edge of here, like that. And then just ink all of this up around it. Because then it's going to look really nice and um, really, really grungy. So, there we go. Now when I start out these videos, I start out and I'm talking really loudly, and so whenever I edit them, I think, oh no, my voice is really loud. But somebody did say late, um, recently, you know, I can't hear you when you mumble, or, you know, words to that effect. Um, which I have to say, I wasn't really aware of doing but since they've said that I am now a little bit aware of it so I do apologize and I must try and stop doing that I mean I think what it is I obviously am always flabbergasted at how loud my voice is um, and so if anything I was kind of conscious of it being the other way in you know being too loud so um, it came as a bit of a shock that somebody would <laughs> Would ever have said to me I need to speak up because a quiet voice is not really something that I ever really suffered from. Now I'm just wondering whether we could use this folded around there. Do you know I might do that because I think that's quite nice. So I'm just folding that in there and then just going to glue that down onto that piece. Okay, let me just tap that off. Right, okay, so that might be it for today because we're actually up to 50 minutes now. So, again, I just think, oh, time flies when you're um, crafting, doesn't it? So, oh, we were going to put some lace up there, weren't we? Ooh, now I'm a bit 
stuck. Do we want the lace at the top or do we want some down there? I quite like it on the edge actually. Let's go for it on the edge because that's something a bit different. So just run a tiny bit of glue down there. Oops. Try and get the lace trim the right way round. Okay. Dab that off. Okay. So I'm just going to cut that down like that. Cut that off there. Um, I'm just going to see whether we might want some trim on that lace. We probably don't, but just it's always good to check, isn't it? So let's just see. So if I just trim this down. great actually looks better down there let me just have a look in the lens let's just have a bit because everything looks better with bling doesn't it so let's just glue that on okay so there's that piece there Okay, so that's another one I'm going to put down to my right that's um, finished. So that's probably it for now because we're up to 52 minutes. Um, so I hope that you're enjoying the little um, kind of craft along mini series. And um, as I say, you know, it certainly is not just for people who are using this kit. You know, you can really craft along using any pieces that you wish to use, you know. Um, so I hope that you're enjoying it and um, hopefully see you again soon. Thanks very much for watching and see you guys another day. Bye.